We turn now to an I-Team exclusive. A Johnson County mom says it took too long to catch the young man accused of robbing her teenage daughter. And they're scared a second suspect is still on the loose. The district attorney says it's partially the result of a law aimed at protecting juvenile offenders from being unnecessarily detained. 41 Action News anchor Caitlin Canute explains. Back in June, an 18-year-old Johnson County woman says she was robbed at gunpoint by two teenage boys after pulling into a parking lot at the Hillsboro Apartments in Mission. He opened the door, put the gun to my head, put one in the chamber, and told me that everything I had was theirs. She and her mother have asked us to conceal their identities for fear of retaliation. The teen says it was only when the two alleged thieves instructed her to move to the passenger seat she was able to run for help, flagging down a passing motorist. I was screaming, I was like, please, they just robbed me at gunpoint, I'm not lying. The people did not want to stop, but finally I got someone to stop and they drove me around the parking lot until the police could arrive. She escaped uninjured, but says they took her purse, other valuables, and the family's only vehicle, a white 2006 Mazda Tribute. With no insurance, they say they've been unable to buy a replacement, paying for rides out of pocket. When you're Ubering to doctor's appointments, and that's three to four hundred dollars a week, and it's been four weeks, and the police are telling you they're not really sure why your vehicle hasn't been spotted or recovered, you know, it just gets frustrating. It's now been almost three months, and police confirm they have yet to find the family's missing SUV. Mission police tell us while that's uncommon, it's not unheard of, and they say they have no means of tracking the vehicle beyond what they've tried. As for the suspects, they've identified one, but mother and daughter say that's not enough. Our faith is in the justice system and the police department, but that's not working out. The family filed a police report on June 24th, but aggravated robbery charges weren't filed against the primary suspect till July 9th, and even then he wasn't arrested. Steve Howe, the Johnson County District's attorney, says it's because he was still 17 at the time of the alleged crime. In Kansas, we cannot issue a warrant or an arrest, even on a serious crime like aggravated robbery, um, unless we can show that that person, we don't know where their whereabouts are. Instead, House says they could only issue a summons. Well, it's a summons just in order to appear. It says, hey, you need to come to court. Even though you've committed a dangerous felony, um, you're not lodged in jail or anything like that. However, that suspect is already being tried as an adult in a previous case. In fact, 41 Action News found out he was on bond supervision for drug and firearm charges when the alleged carjacking took place. But under the Juvenile Justice Reform Act, the DA says they can't automatically charge him as an adult in this instance. We're one of the few states that requires that. It ought to be an automatic referral to the adult system on any subsequent cases. While Hal wants to see juvenile justice reform changed, advocates with Kansas Appleseed Center for Law and Justice say this bill passed with bipartisan support back in 2016 for good reason. The purpose of the bill was really to look at the incarceration rates um, of young people in the state. And we were the fifth worst per capita uh, in terms of rates of incarcerating young people. The law is designed now to limit unnecessary contact with the criminal legal system for children. Supporters say that means taxpayer funds previously spent on detaining juveniles can now go to programs to help rehabilitate them, offering better outcomes in the long run. They also note that under juvenile justice reform, there are still steps prosecutors can take to arrest a dangerous underage offender. And the process isn't difficult, uh, but it is a check to make sure that a judge is reviewing uh, whether it's necessary to take those actions. For the mother-daughter duo we interviewed, they want to know why that hasn't happened yet. They also say until both suspects are in custody, they're left living in fear. Sometimes I want to break down and cry, and other times I just get so angry. The primary suspect had a court hearing today. The district attorney is pushing to have him charged as an adult in this case. A judge is expected to rule on that at his next appearance in October. As for the other suspect, Mission Police told us there hasn't been enough probable cause established to make an arrest at this point. For the 41 Action News I-Team, I'm Caitlin Knute.